Hi perfume lovers, it's Jasper here again from top10fragrances.com. Um, this week we're talking about a British perfume which uh, is produced with a very, very French style to it. Uh, and that perfume is this little number here, Terre d'Iris by Miller Harris. Nice bottle there, or nice box even, uh, very, very simple. And inside the box there is a very, very pretty bottle. Very contemporary bottle, very simple. Uh, which is the way I think a lot of the houses are going at the moment, as you can see. Um, there's got some really nice embossed little flowers on the front there. I hope you can see that on the camera. Comes as a standard sort of splash bottle and you get the atomizer with it, which you fit yourself. I always prefer atomizers because, because I, just, I tend to find that you get better distribution of the perfume using an atomizer. It's available as a 50 milliliter bottle or a 100 milliliter, that being the 100 milliliter. Um, and uh, you know, I, this, this one's a little bit more difficult to get hold of, which I guess makes it kind of definitely niche. Let's talk about the house. Well, it was founded in 2000 by Lynn Harris, um, who actually trained in Grasse in France, um, so the home of perfume. Um, she also spent time in Paris. So she's trained with the best and learned from the best. Um, so she's got, uh, she's got her own style as well. She's getting a reputation for using lots of natural essences as opposed to chemicals and aldehydes and things. And there's nothing wrong with aldehydes and chemicals, um, as we know. Just look at Chanel number no. 5, it's all about aldehydes. Um, but yeah, she's got um, a, a reputation for producing, kind of pushing the boundaries and, and producing very, very contemporary perfumes, but with a kind of old school twist to them. So let's talk about notes on this one. And I've been wearing this for two or three days now simply because um, it's taken that long for me to get my head around the structure of this perfume. So initially, you're talking about an opening with um, two types of citrus. Uh, you're talking about uh, Calabrian bergamot and Sicilian bitter orange. The bitter orange tends to come through after about six or seven minutes once the perfume started to dry down a little bit, but you will notice it. There's also, um, the, the heart of this is, is also quite clever because they've used uh, herbs and they've also used florals. Um, the herbs, you're talking about rosemary from Dalmatia uh, and clary sage. There's orange blossom in there and there's two types of, or there are two types of rose in this. There's a Tunisian rose and a Turkish rose, which are absolutely beautiful, very, very rounded. Miller Harris have also got a reputation for using a particular kind of base which involves things like patchouli, tree moss, French fir balsam and on this you've got some Florentine Oris as well which is, uh, is very very um, delicate in its balance. In my opinion the opening of this perfume is very very busy and I think actually if you're going to put this on for going out for dinner it's the sort of perfume you would wear for two, uh, an hour or two before you go out because it, it's just too busy. That's only my opinion. Um, you'll be, after, after an hour or two, if you bear with it, you'll start noticing things get slightly more structured. Uh, so you've got that sort of slight bitter orange note in the front, which is followed very, very cleverly by the, 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 the herbal notes of this perfume, i.e. the clary sage and the, the um, Dalmatian uh, rosemary. And the florals aren't shouting at you. They don't scream at you in this perfume. Um, they're, they're quite, not subdued, but they're quite uh, delicate. And the base just carries things incredibly well. This is a big perfume, guys. It's not the sort of perfume you'd wear if you're a shrinking violet. Um, in fact, if I was to compare it to wine, I would say, he's not like the, the, the delicat little uh, wines from Bordeaux. It's more like a, a big Australian Shiraz, you know, something huge and with lots of body to it. Sorry about the accents again there. But it smells very contemporary and it's, it's strangely old school um, at the same time, which is a bit of an oxymoron really. Um, but I think that's part of the sort of marketing strategy of this house. It, it's very, very clever. There's an old school edge with a modern sort of twist to it. Let it rest for an hour or two though, uh, uh, in my opinion, because it's very, very heavy perfume. Sillage, well, we, uh, myself and my wife, we had a discussion about this yesterday, and I think the sillage on this is about five meters. She says it's about three meters, but it's a big perfume. Uh, longevity, you're talking 12 hours. If you wash your clothes after wearing this, and not you iron them, you'll still smell this. 
It's, uh, it's got some real body to it. So it was launched in 2005. It's a light shape. I don't know how light, the light is light, um, but it's definitely unisex in my opinion, um, even though it's being marketed to the ladies. I don't think it's a particularly feminine perfume because the florals on this particular perfume don't shout at you like they do on a lot of female perfumes. Um, so don't be put off by the fact that it's being marketed to ladies, guys. If you want to try this stuff, I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's got a, it's got a real body to it. Um, and whenever I wear it, ladies always ask me, what is that scent you're wearing? Because it's absolutely wonderful. So it works really well um, for a guy, in my opinion. Uh, the nose was Lynn Harris. Um, and um, I, getting hold of this stuff is not particularly easy, simply because there aren't millions of stoppists out there. I know that Harrods, uh, Supply Miller Harris, uh, I think Selfridges do in London as well, uh, possibly Fortin Mason. You can get hold of it at uh, www.parformsmdp.com. I know they supply it. Um, it's not the cheapest in the world, but I've always said you get what you pay for. So that's me. That's Miller Harris's uh, Terre de Ris. Um, signature scent, why? I don't know. Simply because I think it's more of a winter warmer again. It's better for the warmer, sorry, the colder seasons. It, it would kind of warm those around you up uh, by smelling, smelling this stuff. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So Miller Harris, Terre de Ris, and I'll speak to you next week when I do my next review.